Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on Cadence Virtuoso. So in this video I have taken a NMOS transistor and I will uh, describe how to draw a guard ring for this NMOS transistor. So a guard ring is a very very crucial feature which is used to enhance the reliability and performance of our integrated circuit. So it is a ring of doped silicon that surrounds a particular sem semiconductor device. So there are many benefits which a guard ring offers so it uh, prevents latch up. So latch up is a condition where a parasitic structure within a CMOS circuit causes a low impedance path between the power supply rails. So it will lead to device failure. So the guard ring helps in suppressing the latch up by providing a low resistance path to ground. Also the guard ring helps in minimizing the noise coupling between the different regions of the chip. The guard ring also helps in electrostatic discharge protection and it also helps in mitigating the effects of contamination by providing a physical barrier that can trap or redirect the impurities away from critical circuit areas. So as you can see I have these three pins for this NMOS V in VDD and uh, ground. So I have not taken the output because I am just uh, showing you how to draw a guard ring for this NMOS circuit. So as you can see we are taking three uh, pins in metal one. So we can also lab give them a label and if you have not watched my previous videos on the layout design then I have I have made videos on layout designing for CMOS NAND gate, NOT gate and NOR gate also. So both, so all these videos you can watch in my uh, YouTube channel. I regularly make videos on Cadence Virtuoso as well as Xilinx Vivado. So as you can see we have this NMOS 1 volt. So its width is 600 nano and we have taken it to be 5 fingers for 120 nano each. So you can see there are 5 gates. These blue vertical strips, these are 5 gates or 5 fingers. So we can extend them by drawing a poly. So let me draw a, extend them and then I will connect it to the ground. So as you can see I have connected these gates. Now I will take a, a via metal to poly via. So as you can see I have taken a metal to poly via and now for all these gates and I will connect my input to these gates. So because the input line is a metal line and this gate is a poly. So we are taking a via metal to poly M1 to poly. So as you can see I have connected 5 vias also. Now I will take my input and connect it to these 5 vias. So from the layer we can select metal 1. So metal 1 is selected. Now I will draw a path for this metal one to connect these five vias with my input. So I will extend it further for connecting the input also. So as you can see I will stretch it further. So because this input is connected to all these five gates. So I will, so I have made a common via for these five gates. So as you can see, this is my input. I will drag it in the PR boundary. Uh, just wait. So, and uh, you should be really patient while drawing this physical layout because uh, sometimes it will take a lot of time. So as you can see I have connected the input to these 5 vias 
and we can see in the navigator also that my input is connected now i will connect the vdd and the ground so you can turn on the navigator so you can see the vdd is connected to these three regions so for vdd i will take another metal metal 2 so as you can see i have first i am taking a via for metal 2 to metal 1 because vdd is a second metal line so for the three for the three metals i am connecting three vias so yes I have connected three vias metal 2 to metal 1. Now I will draw the metal 2. So from la layers I will select metal 2. So just wait let me select metal 2 drawing. So yes now I have selected metal 2 drawing. So as you can see the metal 2 layer is in red color. The metal 1 was in blue color. The metal 2 is in red color. So now I am drawing this metal 2. As you can see this is a red in color. So I will also take it the width of this to be a little uh, almost double the width of the metal 1. So I will take it to be 0 0.24. The width of metal 1 was 0 0.12. So I am taking the width of metal 2 layer as 0 0.24. So this is only for VDD connection. So now we have connected our input also. Now we have connected our VDD also. Now for the ground we will do we will make a guard ring so as you can see i will select the complete structure and create a guard ring so for guard ring template this is a n moss so we will take a p tap because this is a n moss so we will take a p tap so i am selecting a p tap net name is gnd ground so remember this and we can enclose by 0 0.5 so you can vary this enclose by value you can take it 0 0.25 or 0 0.5 so at present it is rectilinear we can draw a rectangular also let me show you so net name is gnd so as you can see this is a rectangular guard ring which has been formed Uh, but for our purpose, we will draw a rectilinear guard ring. Because a rectilinear will take lesser space. The rectangular guard ring will take more space. So this is the rectangular guard ring. Wait, uh, so I want a guard ring for the complete NMOS. So let me delete it. Yes, so now I will include the ground pin inside the guard ring. As you can see, at present, the ground pin is outside this area. Let me decrease the enclose value and let me make it rectilinear. So now I will drag this ground pin inside the guard ring. So just wait. So as you can see this is a rectilinear guard ring. Now I will 
have to put my ground pin also so as you can see i have put the ground pin inside this guard ring now i will connect the grounds these three ground regions i will connect to the guard ring so as you can see that was a vdd so i have i will connect the three regions for the ground to the guard ring so as you can see first i am taking this region then i am taking this region also for connecting to the ground because this whole guard ring works as a ground only so i can connect the ground to any point on this guard ring so as you can see uh, i have taken the three ground terminals for the nmos the there were three vdd and the input is also connected you can see from the navigator window also so this is the tutorial on formation of guard ring using cadence virtuoso so please like and share the video and subscribe the channel and if you have any doubt you can post your doubt in the comment box and please like and share the video and subscribe the channel also thank you hello 